we've enjoyed quite a run in the gold price. You might be asking yourself, will it continue? You may be asking yourself, what about silver? It's lagged a little bit, hovering around $25 per ounce. What proof do we have that we could be in for much higher silver prices as we head into the end of the year? In this video, we're going to talk about what's happened. We'll start with gold, and then we'll look at silver and see what evidence we have that we could be in for a great, great run in the silver price as well. But before we dig into that, let's set the stage. Let's talk about what's behind all these massive moves that we'll likely see, not just in gold and silver, but the commodity sector in general. And we'll sum it up real quickly, won't we, basement dwellers? It's all about unicorn fart dust. It's all about the fiat money system. It's all about printing money. It's all about the fact that the Fed and the Western financial system has built up so much debt that at this point, we're pretty much in a doom spiral. And the only way out is to dilute the currency. All those dollars out there, all that debt, all those derivatives, it just doesn't work. But let's focus in now on the gold price. Let's talk about what has happened in the gold price. And let's recognize something about gold. Gold is the godfather, yes, the godfather, of all precious metals. Gold is the godfather of the anti-fiat movement. We're going to talk more about silver later in the video, but silver will follow gold as well. And gold has broken out. I want to pull this up for you quickly, basement dwellers. Gold has broken out. Big news from a cup and handle pattern. Look, on this chart, you can see 2011. $2,000. 2020, we remember that right after the uh, C-19 crisis, $2,000. That formed a massive cup. And since then, it formed a handle, which has broken out. We're above $2,200 in gold. This is the most reliable, the most powerful of all uh, technical charting patterns in the world, okay? The other interesting thing about gold, two more things. Number one, it has broken out from an inverse head and shoulders. That's what you're seeing on your screen right now. That's an upside down shoulder on the right side, head in the middle, and shoulder on the left side. And again, we've broken out above that 2000 level. That's another powerful chart pattern. The final thing to recognize about gold is that it has broken out from a triple top. It had bumped up in that 2000 range three times. Heck, it feels like four times to me and has broken out from there as well. The important thing to remember as we talk about all this, though, with gold, as it goes to new all time highs. I heard somebody say last night, did you know this? That in Canadian dollars, I heard that gold is 3000 Canadian. I wasn't able to confirm that, but it's just crazy what's going on. And as gold goes to new all-time highs, guys, there is less and less overhead resistance. That means, yes, there's nobody out there. You don't know anybody who paid 2400 US dollars for gold, who's waiting for it to get there so that they can sell and get their money back, right? There's nobody who bought gold for $2,600 US, okay? There's no overhead resistance. And as things go to new all-time highs, fewer and fewer people become interested in selling. The future looks bright. Look, I talked about $2,600 gold prediction for May of this year. It seemed just a few weeks ago that that was out of the question, but it appears we could be heading for a gold price above $2,500 this year. We even have JP Morgan talking about that. Now let's move over to silver, our old friend silver. Uh, I sometimes say that for all intensive purposes, the all-time high in silver is somewhere in that $29 to $32 per ounce range. Because I know silver hit $50 several times. But you need to remember, there are almost no people out there who bought silver when the spot price was over $30 per ounce. There's a few, 
But when it comes to that overhead resistance, similar to what we talked about with gold, there just aren't a lot of people out there who bought silver when the spot price was very temporarily 50 or 40 or even $35 per ounce. For all intensive purposes, once we get above 30, 32, 33 in silver, it's my opinion that we will essentially be in new all-time high territory with less and less overhead resistance. But let's pull up the silver charts real quickly because there's very interesting developments there as well. This is the almost 50-year, 45-year uh, cup and handle formation that's formed within silver. Uh, massive. The longer period of time that a cup and handle is formed over, the more powerful, the more predictable it is. 45 years is a long, long, long time. But it gets even more interesting, okay? When we look at this, this came from uh, Kimball charting, right? Basically the same pattern. This was from a few years back. But, but let's go to slide three because this is where the key may lie. Silver's in a wedge, okay? It broke out above 25 for a short period of time, but over the last number of years on many different time frames, the price of silver has been compressing, okay? And eventually price will break out of that wedge. Doesn't it feel like it wants to break to the upside? But wait, there's more because if we go back, okay, if we go back to this chart or to this chart and we look at the handle, what we see is over here in the handle, see that? There's a wedge forming there as well, okay? There's a wedge forming here. So that wedge pattern that we looked at is at the right-hand side of the handle. And when that breaks out, it could be explosive. We have people talking about triple-digit silver, uh, reputable analysts that look at these charts, talking about the prospect that within the next couple of years, we could have uh, triple-digit silver. Uh, hey, speaking of silver, I want to say thank you to channel sponsor, Pimbex, they make this video possible. Check out Pimbex next time you are shopping for online bullion. If you want to buy silver, gold, or platinum online, I think you'll find what I found. Pimbex checks all the boxes, and you will get more metal for your money, but you need to find that out for yourself. Also, let's say thank you to First Mining Gold, Canadian Gold Development Company with two multi-million ounce projects in Canada. You can learn more about them at First mininggold.com and our friends at Fortuna Silver, who actually mine more gold now than they do silver. They mine both gold and silver, and they do it in a manner that generates a great deal of cash flow. We're real excited to see the performance of Fortuna during the first quarter here of 2024. I think we'll hear about that in about six weeks. You can learn more about Fortuna at fortunasilver.com. But what makes silver even more explosive in this environment. Guys, if silver moves like we think it will, when it moves like we think it will, we could see a rush, a squeeze, if you will, like we've never, ever seen before. Because number one, people are waking up. Number two, think about it. People communicate now much more quickly in the past. And number three, People, not us, because we've already planned ahead. We've already been to the Pimbex website, but the other people, right, the herd that's going to be following us if and when the silver price explodes, they'll be able to jump online and buy silver immediately. This is not the 1980s where you had lines of people going out of the local coin shop. Sure, there will be lines at the local coin shop, but in today's day and age, the entire availability of a retail investable silver can literally be wiped out in hours because of online purchases. It could get crazy and it could get crazy very, very quickly. Hey, um, the other thing to remember about silver, we'll just throw in a few more fun facts, right? Don't forget, right? All that silver that's out there now is being, 50% of it is being eaten up by industry. It's just looking very, very good as we move into these coming years. Thank you for joining me here in the basement. Please give this a thumbs up. 
uh, and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get a piece of content every single day about silver and gold, uh, it's a big deal to me when you join me here in the basement. They forgot the name at RonTube. They named it YouTube. They named it after you. And there's a reason for that. You are the most important person. Be well, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.